So I don't really go in for this kind of jazz, um, quite frankly, but, you know, sometimes you get caught out by glitz and razzmatazz. So I subscribe to a newsletter from these guys because now and again, if you're not in a rush to buy something, you love that there'll be a promotion will come out, you get your 10% off, or sometimes they'll do like a sale where you can buy blemished tools for quite reduced prices. And I would say if you're looking to buy new and you don't like old stuff, it could be worth signing up. I've got to be honest, I, you know, this isn't a voucher or anything. I, I don't get paid for this. They're just good to deal with. They're decent people down there and they only sell decent stuff. Not all of it's my cup of tea. Well, you know, why should it be? But they, they sell some great stuff. So you can go and check them out. Decent people. And again, I think if you're super green to woodworking and you want some information you can ring them up and i don't think they're rip-off merchants they're not just going to say hey you need to buy this 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 and this and before you know it you spent a load of stuff i think if you just had some basic stuff in mind but you wanted to spend you know good money they would guide you carefully i don't think you'd be ripped off by those guys anyway back to this so narex typically have been known for probably the more budget end of the chisel market but when I say budget as in like affordable but not making rubbish you know they've made decent stuff and I think that's to be applauded really because most people seem to do one or two things you know they'll go into the market and they'll go hey I'm going to make stuff of the lowest quality possible for the lowest price possible and then you've got the other end of the market don't really own any of those which is hey i'm going to make the best possible product i can for the highest possible price no problem with that you know that's what i would do it makes perfect sense but it leaves that middle ground where you think i don't want to have to like miss a mortgage payment just to buy some nice new chisels so whether all of the hype around these little fellas is true or not i don't know This feels like one of those dreadful unboxing videos that makes you want to be sick as an adult. Um, but there you go, I guess this is kind of what it is. So yeah, it's a bit like Christmas. Look at it, look. Disgusting. Like some kind of tool pornography. Um, and I'm going to compare these to something else I just uploaded in another video. I'm going to try and open these carefully, just in case I don't like them in the future and I want to shift them on. I think in a sad way, I kind of feel a bit dirty. It's like I don't really actually need these, you know. It's just because I was intrigued because they really stepped up a notch in what they were trying to do. Um, and they looked really nice, which is, again, kind of pathetic in a way, you know, because I love how this looks. The fact that I made it myself, it's got a you know, cracking emblem on there. It's like bang. You're not going to see much like that anymore. But still, as far as modern things go. I'll try and carefully not rip anything. This is the thing, I don't unbox things normally. I just rip it to pieces. There you go. There you come. So, no English on that. Got a bit of Russian, German. Oh, there is English. There it is. Um, so, CRV steel, but it's got the cryogenic treatment to 62. Um, Rockwell hardness, thin sides, polished handles. Quite like the fact they're using ash. Decent. You know, it's not being in a rush to use anything too exotic. And stainless steel ferrules. Blimey. So 
So yeah, just more stuff. So cryo, what does that mean? Right after initial hardening, cryogenic treatment cools the steel down to a very low temperature using liquid nitrogen. Isn't that how they killed like Terminator 2 or something? Um, this alters the mechanical properties of the steel at the molecular level, greatly increasing its strength, toughness and wear resistance. Smells fishy already because stuff gets blunt. Um, but, you know, who knows? Maybe it's a miracle. Um, box is pretty sweet. That's nice, you know? To be quite honest, if you're actually making things regularly, you'll probably have them set up on a rack, would be my guess. Um, but there we go. And here are these little fellas. Oh, look at this. This is plush, isn't it? Very plush. I don't know if that was my dusty fingers in there or someone else's dusty fingers. Mmm, texture. So yeah, these are a set of chisels for tarts, um, which isn't something I normally indulge in. Get rid of that foam. Look at that look. Ooh, this is like jewellery. This is what I would imagine it feels like if you like to have nice jewellery. Yeah, it's nice. The handles with the colour that you can see, it looks like a really pronounced colour change between those two, which seems quite stark. And I think that's mainly due to the poor lighting in my workshop. Um, doesn't really make much difference here. What is nice, get rid of that silica gel, which just gets rid of any moisture, is they've got a thin coating of oil on them to prevent any corrosion. Which is great, I use oil stones, so that's just perfect. nice and these are a tang style chisel so it's just a tang going back up in there into the handle I quite like that that feels nice I don't know if I'm being influenced by just the fact that I feel like I've been given something really really nice but the finish on those handles is great I want to touch this bad boy. What I'd seen online, these things looked like they had been polished up to within an inch of their life. Um, I've got to say, I don't think they are. Um, it could be the fact that, to be fair, it might be just the oil. I'm not getting the oil off. And that's reducing how much shine's coming off of them. Not that I'm much of a guy into making mental shine. Pretty much all gone. Oh yeah, that's pretty good actually. I think it is just the oil is quite thick. So it just needs a bit of working. I haven't got any white spirit right next to me. What have I got next to me here that I can use? Probably nothing. Let's have a quick look. There we go, I'll just squirt it with a bit of WD-40. Cut through some of that. There we go. Oh yeah, blimey. So I don't think it's like the mental, mental mirror shine, although it's pretty good. There is like some distortion in there. I don't know how that's been put on there, whether it's been done with a buffing wheel Difficult to say. And looking at it in the light, I don't know whether you can catch it there, like where it starts on an angle. That doesn't feel like a sharp edge. It feels like the polishing process has probably dubbed it a little bit. Um, to me, that wouldn't make any difference. That should still cut fine. Um, 
what I guess is a little bit of a shame is, again, I don't think it would take much, but I'll experiment with this later, is I don't necessarily need that to be shiny for my purposes. It looks kind of pretty glamorous. That side, I'd happily keep all polished up because it makes all this quite comfortable and tactile. Um, it feels quite nice to touch, but I think I just wouldn't have bothered polishing the back of this because I think it would be then left to the user to think, well, hone it as I need to, apply on the back. And I think everybody sharpens up a little bit different. You get some people like me who don't go super fine. You get some people going like crazy grit. So let's just have a look at the bevel. I'd say they come sharp enough to cut something as well. And it looks like there's a bit of a secondary bevel put on that one as well. So a quick look. Yeah, there is a, I would say a tiny little secondary bevel already added. Let's clean up the back of the inch one as well. Yeah, the backs of them, they're obviously flat, but it hasn't got that, um, I don't know, it's a curious one. I'll definitely experiment with these, um, and I think that'll be part of another video, because this one's already going on too long. This is very much initial impressions, but yeah, I would say they feel great. So what I wanted to do is that I'm going to grab the Wood River one and just have a feel now, if I had to pick which one I like the feel of, I like the feel of the Narex one straight away. And I have used these already, so I know what they feel like. You can see on the back there, I've been using them a bit. Not massively, because I just weren't that keen on them. They were fine. You know, if you want them, buy them, they're fine. Um, but these really feel nicely finished off. Um, I really like that ash. Who doesn't like a nice bit of ash? <clears throat> yeah, that three quarter one's got a nice get the hand they really do feel that they've had some care taken over them <sighs> i just feel bad i feel like i'm being a bit of a tool tart but yeah i will investigate further i'll do a quick sharpen up see how we go but i say what is nice is that if you want to indulge yourself in some tool tartary then this is a reasonably accessible way to do it i think these might cost around 150 and for that you get five chisels the wood river i had to buy one of the smaller sizes an extra because i think they come as a set of four and the box with these not that you need chisel boxes you can make your own and stick them in a rack Everything came up a lot more nicely packaged with the Narex ones. And considering they're similar in price, if I had to spend some money for a middle of the road chisel, I would go for these. I'm not mental crazy interested about cryo. It's like, whatever's going to happen, it's going to get blunt. You need to sharpen it. And like, I'll probably use this analogy a lot. Dump chisel, if that's sharp, will trump those chisels if they're blunt. You know, you can buy the most expensive chisels in the world. If they're not sharp, they're not going to function. But yeah, these are nice. They might be a set that I keep to make myself feel special on certain days. My God, you might catch my ugly face in a reflection. We can't have that. Yeah, I will reveal more. This has been one of those vomit toe curling unboxing videos. I feel like I'm dirty. I now need to go and have a shower. But yeah. There we go. That's what you can expect and we'll catch up soon.